before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. First down, Jacksonville. Herbert now. A short throw caught by Andrews. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Gain of five, brings up second and five. And to give this time to the tailback. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle, you got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 12 yards on the play, but it's third down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Flush to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And whistle blown. A timeout here is taken, and it's taken by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Herbert. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Andrews. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Buying time to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. to throw again. Herbert. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Here's Herbert. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. That catch good for only a couple. Now a handoff looking right. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Out of the gun, Herbert. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. Makes the score Jaguars 7, Rams nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Five-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. No gain on the play. 
Brings up second and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to work three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody find someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now it's a quarterback. Are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. Third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. Chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. One, a good pick up there, 26 yards. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. It's second down and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And we'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. Going for it all. The intercepted. Let it well and it's picked. Mahomes pass. Intercepted by the Jaguars. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. He's going to rifle one deep left. He's got it in. Complete. The 20. 10. Touchdown. Jaguars. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting fast. 21 nothing. our score after one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, trying to get things settled down a little bit. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A nice gain of 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Flushed out right. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. It's a foot race. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the problem a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And that's a touchdown. And hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Brutal. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cool game sometimes, partner. Second down, here's Mahomes. Looking for Kelsey on a deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he comes back with one complete. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to take this one in for the Rams touchdown. Jerry Judy, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams' defense. Shaquille Barrett in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint as that is sack number 100 in what has certainly been a terrific career to this point. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from home. Arm incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. The running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. 
Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Rams are going offense here with a first and 10. At their own 37-yard line. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. Here as he's taken down. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes and they're getting out. And he's going to go down again. Javon Kinlaw. He's the one that drops him this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here. Back to back sacks. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Big hold of the 30. That's to McCaffrey complete. And all the way up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17, but even with that, they'll be well short here for fourth down. Flush to his right. Dexter Lawrence and the Jags take over in terrific field position. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. On the tackle. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the Rams' 20-yard line. Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throw here. That's complete. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. His pass caught at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Gain of five brings up second and goal. From the shotgun now, here's an inside goal. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. The kicker on. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. He is good. Extra point splits the uprights, and the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points up. They've got it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 31. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They're there to stop it was Darius Leonard. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On the pickup, it's second and eight at the 13-yard line. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's brought down 
line just outside of the 10 at the 11. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it third down. And it's third down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Being chased out left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And his kick here is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory, just a little time to try something. You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down, they're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And we'll find his man on the outside. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Now Mahomes. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Seconds now. Intended for Chris Godwin. It's now after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And again it's Mahomes. The target is Godwin once more, this time complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 16 yards, a first down. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Now it's Mahomes again, escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And incomplete. It leads Second and ten from the 33-yard line. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play so we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a route as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report coach the Rams set to receive the second half kickoff and they trail here as we resume play fielded a couple yards into the end zone Tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. First and 10 at their own 21 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four and a lot of times these plays they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage and here they got to the outside turned it upfield and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it now the second down throw on target and he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there he continues to deliver a first down here he had four catches in the first half and this one number five two yard line Now the throw. And his throw is 
is incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. From midfield, here's Mahomes. at all an interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter obviously not what they were striving to accomplish but you know who's really upset on their team the defense already trailing they're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is on the run he'll let it go deep and that's caught inside the 35 and he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Herbert now. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Now the extra point. I know a lot of people look at these games and think, all right, this thing's done. Let's have some sportsmanship. Let's not try and score. You should never do that in the NFL. I've seen big leads blown, and teams that look like they had a victory, all of a sudden we're going home with a loss. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go. And now here's another interception. Picked off here the 29. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Operating from the gun, Herbert. His throw caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 14-yard pickup, but it's third down. Herbert on third down now. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A five-yard touchdown. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Makes the score Jaguars 52. Rams. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
complete to his receiver, Gadwin. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying to get This is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Three yards the gain there, second down. Number nine, a three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven at the 26-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is caught at the eight. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. First and goal. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Herbert back to the air. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The score, Jaguars 59, Rams 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10. And set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Let's see if they can recoup and recover. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes looking downfield for Kelsey. And this is going to be incomplete. take over in terrific field position. <laughs> On first down, Justin Herbert. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 
six. You chin it, and Wosu got the sack there. Seven yards. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. From the gun, Herbert. Right, and that's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the 1. It'll be a gain of 5 there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jack Touchdown reception, and the Jaguars continue to roll. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably not one that they want to chew on. A whole performance from start to finish. That'll line up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. First and 10. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. They go play fake. Mahomes. And oh my goodness, another interception. Picked by Kevin Byers. And a great return here as he takes it up past the 30 yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard. They just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also, what happens when you get this big of a deficit? You're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Brings up second and five at the 37-yard line. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Forced out to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. And it is incomplete. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And now here's another interception. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but... 
I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Herbert. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Jaguar, first down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Wide open receiver complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Again, Herbert. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Number four. That goes for a gain of 31. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Dancing to his left. He may try and run. And run for the goal line. He loses the football. And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. He's thankful right now for that sideline because it could have been a fumble loss instead just a fumble, though they will have to punt it down. You're right about that, but do you think there's ever been a player happier to see his own punter go on the field than him? No. I mean, not at all, right? How fortunate is he that they got a chance to punt it away and it's not just a turnover at the spot? Fourth down, Herbert. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Touchdown. Got to be feeling confident they're going to get off the schneid. An old coach told me he calls this a relief win. 0-3 you know, would have been bad. You get to 1-2, and two, you feel a lot better, don't you? That is so true, and you feel better about yourself. You, 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 know, you think to yourself, okay, we're still in the playoff hunt. We're not out of it at 0-3. But the other part, too, it leads to doubt about your system, leads to doubt about your coaches. They don't have to worry about that now. They can move forward. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Rams take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the field. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. So we recount real quick. He had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. After the sack on first down, Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. On first down, Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Mahomes now on first down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. The tackle made back at the 47-yard line. 
One final try for Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. She right, got me. Hey, boy, and it be some you got yeah. go Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep No, I can't go. And whoa, uh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your steps. It changed to change. I like your respect. Give them more than what I get, expecting up the back. In fact, you know, I sat down with my accountant. He said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you make a lot. What's the bad news? The bad news is you spend more. Okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you worth. Sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Dre. You gon' have to pay. But wait, jugging on the main stage with the main 